In the previous lesson, we introduced curly braces in JSX, and we saw that we could use them to evaluate any kind of JavaScript expression that we wanted, and then output that evaluation to the screen. So in this lesson, I want to show you some of the additional superpowers of curly braces, and that is that we can also use them for our attribute values. So for example, if we take a look at our anchor tag, we have our URL right here, hard-coded inline. And we also have our classes hard-coded inline, and that's totally fine. But let's imagine that we wanted to store these string values as constants and then use those constants values dynamically to populate the value of the href and class name attributes. All right. So to start off, let's just say that we have two constants here. One of them is going to be URL, and that's just going to be our link to Wikipedia. So right here, HTTPS, www.wikipedia.org, just like below. And let's say we have a const called classes, and that's once again going to be link and fancy. All right. So obviously what we want to do here is to use this URL constant to replace this thing right here. So once again, we need to use curly braces. So if we simply wrote URL in line here, this would of course not work because JavaScript and React in the browser would interpret this as the literal URL string. So the text characters URL is what this would go to, which would of course not work. We want to provide a dynamic reference here to whatever this URL constant represents. We want this string right here. So as it turns out, you might think the syntax would look something like this, but this actually was, is not going to work. This is simply going to output the value uh, open and curly brace, URL, closing curly brace for our href in our browser. So what we do in this situation is we actually get rid of the double quotes around the start and end, and we just simply provide the curly braces in line like so. So here's my curly braces, and what do I want to be the value of that href attribute? Whatever is the value of my URL constant. So automatically, when all of this transpiles, JSX and React know that this href should be wikipedia.org. All right, and right here for class name, we're gonna do the exact same thing. So I'm going to remove this form of reference and replace it with a reference to our class as constant. All right, and we can totally mix and match, right? So for example, we can keep these two attributes and keep them hard-coded, but keep these uh, referenced to a constant, right? And it doesn't necessarily have to be a constant. As we'll see later, we can even have dynamic values such as you know, a variable, for example, that uh, has a URL that updates over time. And when that variable updates, we can completely update the URL that is attached to the href attribute. So we're kind of getting started super slow here, but hopefully you're starting to see some of the benefits that we're going to be able to get by having all the advantages of JavaScript when we're building these chunks of the UI. All right. So the key takeaway in this lesson is we can use curly braces to output something to the screen. We can also use curly braces to replace uh, attribute references for any of our JSX elements. All right. That's all there is to cover in this lesson. So I will see you in the next one.